Welcome back friends. In the previous video, we talked about the structure of chloroplasty and its adaptation to photosynthesis. And in this video, we are going to look on the photosynthesis pigments. So I know some of the students, they can say that no need of discussing these aspects because they want us to start discussing about the mechanism of photosynthesis. But we can't start discussing about the mechanisms of photosynthesis before discussing aspects like these. So just be patient and I am sure that in the next few lectures we shall start discussing photosynthesis itself. So photosynthesis pigments, we can say that they are just the kind of pigments which are responsible for absorption of light. So it is present in higher plants and when we are saying higher plants we are meaning the class class C. Okay, I, I can say they are all of the green plants because some of the some of the small plants they don't have photosynthetic pigments. However most of the plants they have they have they have the photosynthetic pigment. So for the things pigment they fall into two categories, chlorophylls and the carot carotenoids. So they are always to absorb light energy and thereby converting into chemical energy. They are located in chloroplast, membrane, thyroid, and the chloroplast are usually are usually arranged within the cells so that the membranes are at light and go to the light source for maximum absorption. So now let's start looking at the chlorophylls. Chlorophyll, they absorb mainly LED and blue-violet light. You should understand this because some of the teachers, I know most of them, they, don't, they can't ask a question like this, but it's better to know because sometimes a teacher can, can ask you a question which could pass to this part. So chloroplasts, they, they absorb LED, Chlorophylls, I mean, chlorophylls contained in the chloroplasts, they absorb LED and blue-violet light, reflecting green light, and therefore giving plant their characteristics green color. So why plants, they appear as green? Because the chlorophyll, they reflect the green color. As you studied in your, in your physics of Form 3, that the color which is reflected is the one which is observed by our eyes. So unless masked by other pigment, so in some of the condition, kama vile jani na vokuali mezeka, na kuta jani na badisha langi, kutoka kijani na nda kuanjano, kuani na kuanjano kwa sabu jani na vanza kuzeka, chlorophyll zina black down ifasta kuliko carotenoids. Kwa chlorophyll zikisha black down, ina ubaki amle nini carotenoid? Ikibaki ya carotenoid ndio na give ile plant rangi ambayo ni yellow. Kwa hiyo kwenye mazingira kama hayo ndio maana the leaf appears as yellow. So figure below ambayo utaiona hapo chini inaonyesha absorption spectra ya chlorophyll A na chlorophyll B as compared with carotenoids. Kwa tunaona difference kati ya chlorophyll A chlorophyll B pamoja na carotenoids. So chlorophyll molecule has a flat light absorbing head and which contain magnesium atom at the center. Kwa nda kusoma, one among the factors affecting the process of thinness is the presence of inorganic ions. Kwa inorganic ions such as magnesium, iron, nitrogen, phosphorus, they affect thinness. So why are they affecting thinness? That is because some of the atoms such as magnesium and nitrogen, they are part of the chlorophyll molecule. So they are, their absence lead to the failure of the plant to synthesize chlorophyll molecule. Hence, the lower the rate of photosynthesis. Since uh, the rate of production of chlorophyll slow down, then the rate of absorption of light will be slow. So this explains the need for magnesium by plant and the fact that magnesium deficiency reduces chlorophyll production and causes yellowing. So if we have a deficiency of magnesium in a plant, it can cause yellowing of the plant. They appear yellow. Why are they appearing yellow? Because the concentration of chlorophyll decreases and the concentration of, of 
carotenoids increases. That's because the carotenoids, they are yellow in color, so they are the one which are masking the appearance of the chlorophyll. So the chlorophyll molecule has also a long hydrocarbon tail, which is hydrophobic in nature. Hydrophobic means it is water, water hating. And uh, if it could be hydrophilic, means it is water loving. So hydrophobic means it is water hating. The interior of the, mem of the membrane is also hydrophobic. So the tail, the tail projects into the thyroid membranes and act like anchor. So because the interior of the thyroid membranes is hydrophobic and the tail of the chlorophyll molecule is hydrophobic so the tail projects inward where it is hydrophobic because here we are using just the normal principles like dissolve like so for example here hydrophilic dissolves hydrophilic and hydrophobic dissolves hydrophobic so hydrophilic molecules they can be dissolved by water but but hydrophobic molecules they can't be dissolved by water and that's why here the tail projects to the side which is also hydrophobic means has no water so the head are hydrophilic and they lie flat in the membrane surface like solar panel so head which are hydrophilic means they are water loving they they lie flat in the surface of the cellular membranes is solar panels we shall see later the diagram which shows this arrangement of the of the chlorophyll in the thyroid membranes but here what you should know is that the head is the one which is light absorbing so it absorbs light and then the excitation occurs there at the head and other processes they can continue so different chlorophyll have different side chain on head and this modifies their absorption spectrum so the difference of the side chain on head is the one which modifies the absorption spectrum so the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, they differ. That's why you see here that increasing the range of wavelength of light absorbing. So they have different side chain on the head and this modify the absorption spectrum, increasing the range of wavelength of light absorbed. So here, as if these plants when they were created, it was that the different types of chlorophyll, they absorb different kind of light or different wavelength of light so if chlorophyll a could absorb the same light as chlorophyll b means the the range of light absorbed could be very small but as you can see here chlorophyll a is most abundant for the synthetic pigment it exists in several forms which differ slightly in lady absorption peak so chlorophyll a it is absorption peak is only lady light and it, it absorbs more red light and the wavelengths of light absorbed by the chlorophyll A can be 607 nicrometer lakini hiyo ni difference ukienda kwenye chlorophyll B hasa unaona kwa mfano this diagram here i hope you can you can see it well this diagram here i hope unaweza kaiona kwa hiyo hapa kwa mfano kwenye hii diagram manake ni ni unaona hii ni absorbance manake uwezo wa hii chlorophyll ku absorb na huko ni wavelength hasa kwenye hizi glafu hii continuous line ni chlorophyll a dotted line ni chlorophyll b na dotted line ya hivi ni cadmium kwa unaweza kuona chlorophyll a absorption peak ukija kuangalia huko absorption peak of chlorophyll a uwezo wa ku absorb ina absorption peak moja hapa chlorophyll A lakini inakuja kuwa na absorption peak nyingine hapa unaona kwa hiyo absorption peak zinakuwa mbili hapa inakuwa hii hapa na hii hapa lakini huko pia absorption peak ya chlorophyll B kuna absorption peak moja hapa absorption peak ya pili hapa lakini unaweza kaona hapa kwamba nini kinatokea ukiangalia huko chlorophyll A absorption peak yake hapo huko ina absorb kidogo lakini chlorophyll B ndio inabsorb sana. Wakati ukirudi huku unakuta kwamba huku chlorophyll A huku kwenye wavelength ya mbele chlorophyll A ndio inabsorb sana chlorophyll B inabsorb kidogo. Na ndio maana tukasema kule juu kwamba chlorophyll A inabsorb sana kwenye red light. Maana kwenye red light ndio huku ambako chlorophyll A inakuwa inabsorb sana. Kwa hili chlorophyll B maana 
itabsorb sana kwenye blue light ambako kutakuwa ni huku carotenoid yenyewe ni kama vile haieleweki kwa sababu yenyewe sasa ina absorb hii, hii blue light yenyewe haiko kabisa huko kwenye red kwa that's the major difference between these chlorophyll molecules na ndicho kitu ambacho unaweza kukiona kwa hiyo from there now let's discuss about the carotenoids and how are they are they functioning carotenoids see they are yellow in color they are yellow orange or brown pigment that absorbs strongly in the blue violet range that's why as you can see here in the graph that carotenoids carotenoids here they have strong absorption on the blue violet light in this side and even chlorophyll b they 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 have strong absorption in the blue violet light compared to the led light so that's that's just the the difference between these chlorophylls uh, between these absorption pigments so as you can see here chlorophyll b will absorb more blue violet light as compared to chlorophyll a so if the plant has both chlorophyll b chlorophyll a and the carotenoids then it can absorb the large range of light as compared to the plant which lacks one pigment however that is that is impossible so it is all that every it is all that every every plant possesses these pigments so carotenoids they are yellow orange or brown pigment that absorb strongly in the blue violet range they are called accessory pigments because they pass the light energy they absorb on the cloth so carotenoids they can't use that light in themselves they just absorb and then they pass that energy to the chlorophyll and we shall see later on the what we call the light harvesting complex so in the light harvesting complex we shall see that the light absorbed by the carotenoids or by the accessory pigments like carotenoids it is passed to the chlorophyll and there is where the excitation of the electrons takes place and the process of the photosynthesis start so they have three absorption peaks and apart from acting as a solid pigment they may also protect chlorophyll from excess light and from oxidation by oxygen producing the photosynthesis so the excess oxygen produced during photosynthesis sometimes it causes the what you call photorespiration and one among the importance of photorespiration is to prevent the plant from the photoxidative damage as we shall discuss later on the part of photorespiration but even if we, we haven't reached that part of photorespiration what you should know here is that another mechanism of the plant to protect itself from the photoxidative damage is the presence of the carotenoid pigment which allow the plant to prevent or to protect the chlorophylls from the photoxidative damage so they are usually masked by the green chlorophyll but can be seen in leaves before leaf fall because chlorophyll break break down first as i told you earlier kwamba majani yanavyokuwa na zeka na kuona yaona yana rangi ya njano kwa sababu manake chlorophyll ambayo ni ya kijani inakuwa na break down first before carotenoids na ikisha break down first ile chlorophyll manake rangi nayo bakia pale ndo unakuta kuna rangi ya yellow orange or brown and that's because they are the colors of carotenoids so they are also found in some flowers and fruits where the bright color attract insect kwa hiyo pia carotenoids sio tu ziko kwenye kwenye sio tu ziko kwenye 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 leaves pia zinaweza kukazikuta kwenye flowers au kwenye fruits so they they are in flowers because they attract insect and beds for pollination and hence the dispersal or dispersal of the of the seeds so example lady skin of tomatoes due to carotene and carotene are of two types which are carotenes and the xanthophylls so the most widely spread and important carotene is this is i hope this is alpha carotene let me change the font here so as you can see we can see well what is this okay the most important carotene here 
I, I hope this is this is alpha carotene and which is familiar with the orange pigment of carotene so of carrots this alpha carotene or a carotene is the one which is present in carrots is carrot ambazor na kula kesi so that's why you want to say kwamba kila carrot unazuia machukuma kwa sababu gani the the vegetables they have ability to use that carotene present in carrot to synthesize the molecule of vitamin A so vegetables are able to break down the molecule into two digest into two during digestion to form two molecules of vitamin A making carrots a useful source of vitamin A to animal kwa vitamin A inatumika sana kwenye uonaji kutengeneza photosynthetic pigment as we shall discuss in the topic of coordination lakini unachotaka kujua hapa ni kwamba kwa sababu hiyo sasa ndio sababu hiyo pelekea waitumie sana carrot kusema ukila macho yako vizuri lakini pia hapo kuna kuna terminology mbili ambayo ni kuna action spectrum pamoja na absorption spectrum action spectrum unasema is the graph showing the effectiveness of different wavelength of light in stimulating the process being investigated kwa kama ni kwenye fotosynthesis maana ni effectiveness ya different wavelength ku stimulate fotosynthesis kwa kwenye action spectrum utakuta kwamba kuna wavelength fulani ambayo inakuwa absorbed sana absorbed sana wavelength nyingine inakuwa absorbed kidogo lakini kwenye absorption spectrum is the graph of relative amount of light being absorbed at different wavelength by pigment if you take the difference namba moja ambayo ni ni biological science kwa hata hapa hii herufi ambayo hauja sijajua ni herufi gani kutokana na fonti ambayo nimeweka hii unaweza kaipata tu kwenye kwenye hiyo biological science yako unaweza kaipata tu hiyo reference yako unaweza kaipata kwa hiyo kiufupi ni kwamba action spectrum inakuwa inaonyesha ni kwa jinsi gani ambavyo ume 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 ume, ume excite yani ile wavelength ya light ime stimulate the process lakini absorption ni kwamba sio tu ku stimulate bali ki, kiongo gani kimekuwa absorbed from there tutaangalia mambo ya excitation of growth pamoja na light harvesting complex kwa hiyo next lecture nita nitakuwa nazungumzia mambo ya mambo ya excitation of chlorophyll pamoja na mambo ya light harvesting complex kwa hiyo subscribe my channel ili uweze kupata updates zaidi kwenye topic ya nutrition pia hapo chini nitaweka description kwa ajili ya telegram group hizi notes aziko telegram group kwa yote anaizitaji they can be found in hard copy and e pamphlet na uzo kwa bei ya 10000 kwa utakaitaka uta uta utazipata lakini kwa mbaya utaona ways basi utafind alternative nyingine